What's going on guys? Aaron here. Today we're going to be going over heavy cruiser strategy and high tier gameplay. We're in the... Oh gosh. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be fun. We're in the Wichita tier 7 campaign premium ship. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and dart for this island. You want definitely want to utilize island cover, especially um, in a lot of these cruisers. Uh, with... Every cruiser except for the Edinburgh can get overmatched by 16 inch guns and bigger. Um, now we do have 27 millimeter plating which can deflect Colorado and Hood's guns but they can still pen us through the deck at distance. Um, so that's just something you need you should know you know if you're getting into these high tier gameplays and you want to be a better player. I see a lot of people just kind of sailing around with no with no real sense of direction and uh, that's that's fine um, but you know your, your win rate's gonna suffer need to capture this and contest C if we're going to lemon train to this side. I'm going to get this rock right here. We saw two Cleveland and Wichita Division. Something you should also always do is check the board. Yeah, Cleveland, that's tough division. Two destroyers and a couple battle... Uh, battleship division, that's fine. Is there uh, in New Orleans? Uh, you know, don't don't get impatient. Um, so I wish this guy would have spotted sooner. We're gonna sit here and see what we can influence. Right now, we can we can push up and get into B if we needed to, because as we see that it's being capped, as well as excuse me. Let me see. Let me turn this on real quick and see if it. Yeah, as well as lob shells over. Now, I'm a, I have a feeling that a lot of these guys are just camping here. Let's go ahead and pop our sonar. Uh, you know, they could potentially pre-torp this this uh, channel. If we get detected, he's going to be... Okay, he's right there. So, good radar from this Wichita. And swing the guns to this side. We're protected now from the right. Um, you know, we could get those plunging fires, we're actually, uh... Let me go ahead and use our radar. Missed. You got the... These shells have a low velocity, these American shells, so you need to keep that in... Uh, in your calculation. Definitely not hitting how we want to be. Oh, missed. Shit. We got a couple pens, you know, that's some damage there. Watch. Whoa, look at that RNG. You gotta love it. I'm wait fire. just a second and then run back on out of here. The only reason we put out one fire is because we were detected. Or, uh, we went undetected. Problem I see solved. too many players just, just putting out one single fire and it's never the, never the thing to do. So out of hydro, so gotta be careful. And again, your your prior your primary job, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, as a heavy cruiser, as a cruiser in general, is to murder destroyers. Just like that. Um, so, part one of our job accomplished. Um, and we can see a heavy enemy push from the heavy push from the enemy towards the left side of the map. So, uh, we're still detected here. I run the propulsion mod on almost all my cruisers, mainly because you see me playing with the throttle so much. There could be torpedoes on the way. We're still spotted by one ship. It's got to be that lightning in the middle there. He could have now. Be, you saw that target marker indicator, and that's armed and ready on, on Norman Scott. I run Scott as opposed to Einstein. I do have Einstein max out the 16, but Scott just focuses on the guns. And that's really what you need to be focusing on as an American heavy cruiser: is the guns. We can actually lob shots on this guy. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and push forward. We have our radar back up soon. Our battleships really need to be pushing. They're just slowly lumbering along. We also, you know, we do have the range on this guy, and it may not... It's a tough call, you know, like, survivability versus, you know, guns. But again, Americans are all about the guns, uh, if you guys didn't know that already. So, you you know, you shouldn't really do anything to weaken. You shouldn't do anything to, that's really going to affect the guns that much. And it, do everything to strengthen them. Sure, yeah, concealment. Okay, yep. We, we said torpedoes were coming. So he's right in front of us. I'm putting myself in a really tricky spot here. But, we're gonna go ahead and pop that radar. Hmm, he's not. Got rather lucky. The Wichita has that beautiful armor, though, that, uh... Just... Oh, what? I didn't even come close. Targeted by seven. This is uh, beautiful right now. Yeah, good. Problem solved, sir. Okay. Our team is well. Actually, they're getting the caps. We've we've done a complete toilet bowl slash circle formation here. Torpedoes to starboard. Yeah, nice try. Torpedoes, Torpedoes to starboard. Oh, good, Helena. Good. Sail right into the middle. Ugh, stupid. That's... Flash damage? Is this guy really gonna do this? I really hope he doesn't. I really hope he does. Ah. Now, we just switched to AP because we saw a broadside cruiser ready to come out. We're gonna switch back to HE just to hopefully. Okay. It's an absolute gaff on that destroyer's part. Switch back to AP. Torpedoes might get him. Ooh, that's a lot of broadside damage. It's a little bit slower gameplay, guys, but again, you, you just don't you don't want to YOLO and suicide and, and just give up your ship like that, and that should be... Uh, someone else got the kill, but you saw the Citadel there. And we're making relatively easy work of this team because they all lemon trained in the A cap. It's never a good idea. But right now we're going to lob over this. Need him detected. Is that battleship on the outside? Yeah. Destroyer's doing a good job. Again, you're just a support role. You are a support ship, support role. You, you don't need to be... Concentrate fire on the you don't need to be YOLOing and trying to go for 100,000 damage and all this, you know, all this hoopla. That's a thing. Let's go ahead and switch to AP. You need to be cautious. Actually, we're gonna go in full steam. Actually, we're not. Those look good. Ooh, that hurt, buddy, didn't it? Yeah, you got a quick reload, but I'm bow tanking you, so. Do your worst. Yep, goodbye. No four overpens. Interesting. We're actually shielded from his shells. It's, it's rather amazing. Again, you want to play your angles. You never want to be exposed like that. These Clevelands, um, they're light cruisers, and I will eat up their broadside. Not sure how we overpen there. Um, now we're out of utilities, but we still have... You know, we still have our guns, and, uh... And our maneuverability. And our armor. Even does not have that armor. But let's go ahead and push him. Let's get a little aggressive. 
the last cruiser on the board. It leaves our destroyer um, open to torpedo the remaining battleships. Oh, good. Time for that, right? Ooh. Ow. Ow. Should be proxy detected soon. Why am I over overpens? It's 15 overpens. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this a joke? <laughs> what? Ali, man. Oh. It's ridiculous. Oh, broadside Bismarck. Go ahead and switch to HE, just to try and get those fires. You have a pretty good on these shells, a little bit better than the Baltimore, which is the ship's equivalent, tech tree equivalent. And honestly, I'm taking the Baltimore over this ship, the ship everyone wants to use. It's a great utility ship. People just don't get the utility role that cruisers play. They think it's all about damage, and it's not. We've severely, we killed one destroyer and severely injured the other, radaring him. He did get the cap, but he knew that we were there. Dodged his torpedoes, prevented our battleships from getting torpedoed. And the list goes on and on. We've gotten, we actually didn't get any caps. We're about to get this cap, though, which will assure the victory, even more so than it already kind of is. It's rather obvious. You guys couldn't tell, but... It'll make the damage total look good for the end of the game. Again, this is just a slow... Did he put that fire out? Man, this is to kill. Oh, he's out there. Our team has taken the, lead. the game's gonna be over the next couple moments. 50,000 damage. You know. And, uh, not too much, too much done in terms of damage and killing people, but I want you guys to look at the scoreboard. I haven't seen it yet. Wow, look at that. Second by only 50 points there. 50,000 damage. I want you guys to take note of this game. This is just... I'm, I'm going to throw this one up on YouTube sometime just for the simple fact that so many people do not know their ship's role or how to play their ship. Um, that Cleveland was broadside that entire time, and I don't know how we didn't citadel him. Um, but that's just so stupid. It's, it's ridiculous, the, the kind of stuff I'm seeing. And the huge drop off. Like these are these are three decent scores here. Uh, how do you get 500 points being on the winning team and live? Um, you know, this is just he he ended up sailing around. I I don't remember where this guy spawns, and he could have had a bad game. You know, we all have bad games. Um, so you know, I'm not calling that player out individually, but just play your ship how it's meant to be played and know your role. Stop chasing damage. That is the most frustrating thing, I think, on any um, anybody that's a decent player that knows what's going on is... It, I think that's one of the most frustrating things to see is, is lack of you know, awareness, position, and uh, not knowing your ship's role. Know your ship, know your role, and um, you know adapt to the situation and play as a team. That's the video, guys. You know, you know, supporting player and a heavy cruiser. We'll see if we can get maybe a better damage game in the Baltimore sometime soon. Um, I think the Baltimore is honestly better, besides the reload and the fire chance. But that's the Wichita. You guys have known her. You know, HG spamming, HG spamming queen at the moment. That in the Cleveland. But that's the video, guys. You know, support roles a heavy cruiser. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Have a good day. Peace.